If you use Cisco Business Dashboard to manage your Cisco business devices, there's a new feature available that gives you more control than ever before. Now you can limit discovery by IP. This feature restricts which devices are handled by the dashboard based on their IP address. It needs to be set up individually for each network. For this feature, you need to run a minimum of version 2.5.0 for both the probe and the dashboard. If you're running an earlier version, update them to the latest firmware first. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I will discuss the limit discovery by IP feature implemented in Cisco Business Dashboard CBD version 2.5.0. Before we begin, I'll show you the topology of a small network where device discovery is unrestricted. In this example, I'm using the Branch 2 network. From here, I'll create a filter to apply to this network and then look at the outcome. To set up this function, navigate to the network menu and select the desired network. Click on the settings button on the top right-hand side of the screen. Once there, click on the discovery option in the network settings. Just a reminder, the discovery tab will only appear if the dashboard and probe are both running a minimum of version 2.5.0. If you aren't sure what CBD version you're running, you can check by clicking on the information section in the navigation pane. Now on the allowed devices configuration box, enter an IP or range of IP addresses. In this example, I'll enter the IP range of 172.16.1.1 to 172.16.1.20 as my network IP pool. That will restrict discovery to devices in that range. Click on the Save button to save these settings. Here, you can see one block discovery job has been created successfully. Most often, three or four entries will be used. If you want to add more, click on the plus sign. Conversely, you can remove entries using the Delete button. Next, navigate to the Inventory menu. A discovery filter may restrict a device, yet it may still be detected and listed in the inventory. This could be due to residual data if the device was discovered prior to the filter being configured. Another possibility is that the device was learned through passive means, like link layer discovery protocol or bonjour. On the inventory page, a new filter called show discovery has been added and is enabled by default. This means that any device that has been blocked by a network discovery filter will not be shown in the inventory list. Alternatively, this filter can be customized to show only the blocked or show both the blocked and unblocked devices instead. Since you will probably want to see both the blocked and unblocked devices, I'll show you what that looks like. Navigate to the network menu and the inventory list. On the overlays tab, leave the discovery filter enabled and change the show discovery filter to both. This is the same network but now that the show discovery filter is set to both, the map shows allowed and blocked devices. Notice how the network discovery filter has placed a red circle with a slash on the devices that are restricted. When blocked, these devices do not require or consume a license for Cisco Business Dashboard. That's all there is to it with this handy feature. Now you know how limit discovery by IP works starting with firmware version 2.5.0 on Cisco Business Dashboard. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.